I had a few people that were skeptical. My girlfriend at the time, her mom was skeptical of it and kind of looked at it as like, oh yeah, what are you gonna do with that? I've always been a doer rather than a talker. I do a bunch of different things. I teach uh, in the MBA program. I do financial consulting. I have my real estate license, and then I have the laundromat, and I'm a partner in a pizzeria. Basically, I'm a pretty average person, I think, in terms of like background and whatnot. Grew up in a middle class family, dad's a teacher, mom's a registered nurse, did really well in school, and uh, got a job in finance on Wall Street, and I realized that the finance world was not for me, and being a business owner slash entrepreneur, uh, having that boots on the ground experience, it's a tremendous advantage. Unlike other businesses, it's not so time intensive that it takes up all of your time day in, day out. You can have a full-time job if you choose. I would say my laundromat is right in between a very affluent area and kind of a more urban area, but ultimately New Jersey since it's so close to New York City, you have a lot of people that work in the city, take the train. Now I actually look forward to going to the bank because I'm depositing money rather than taking it out. Based on the numbers that I've run, I should e easily be able to double or triple from where I currently am. I really didn't know a lot about the laundromat business before purchasing the DVD. I mean, I understood it from a 10,000 foot view. I really didn't understand the details of it until I had purchased the DVD. I really, you know, it's, it's the type of thing where you think you know, but you really don't know. I saw a lot of blogs talking about these exorbitant amounts of money that were required, you know, established places that were selling for insane amounts. Uh, I just never understood how you could make money if you were spending all of that money. If you're hungry, and you pound the pavement and you're scrappy, you can find an opportunity, they're all out there. What made me hesitant to buy Danny's DVD was ultimately the old, it's too good to be true. Ultimately, when I went through it numerous times and did my own research, I confirmed it wasn't too good to be true. After I had gotten the DVD, I actually started looking around. Um, I found a place uh, local from where I grew up and it fell through but I had a really good relationship with the equipment guys and ultimately uh, they found one that was a good fit for me. This three hour DVD, Danny's DVD, taught me a tremendous amount because every business is different and there's a lot of specifics that you get from Danny from the DVD that you're not going to get from you know, a finance textbook. I was able to glean a tremendous amount of value from the DVD that I couldn't get just from doing my own research. Danny's different because he's tried and true and he has the actual boots on the ground experience. So he's telling you like it is because he does it, not like someone who's saying, I think it's like this or it should be like this. Danny says it is like this. What I enjoyed most about the DVD was uh, Danny in his man cave uh, counting all the money and smoking his cigars. <laughs> I was able to negotiate three months of free rent in this location and I was able to use the tactics that uh, Danny talked about. You know, I had some build out, I had some downtime, so I negotiated that with the landlord, three months free rent. The person who should get into the laundromat business is the person who believes in themselves that they can do it. I mean, the first thing that they should do is buy Danny's DVD and understand the system and how to go about doing it. I would highly recommend using Danny as a consultant to engage landlords and someone that you can lean on for advice. Danny's a real person. He's not just like reading a book um, and he's had the experience to be able to relate to. What made me feel that I needed Danny as a consultant was ultimately I'm a very detail oriented person. I don't want to leave anything to chance and I knew by utilizing Danny's expertise as a consultant I'd be able to ask all the questions that I needed answered just because my personality is very detail oriented. I want to leave no stone unturned. What I would say is don't let anything stop you from moving forward with this. If you believe in yourself, you know, pull the trigger, move forward, get it done. And I'm very thankful to Danny for being so open, honest, and accessible all the time. It was awesome. He's the man.
You found me because you're interested in owning laundromats, but I want you to do it right. I'm passionate about this information. I want you to get my information and do it correctly without the pitfalls, without putting your neck in a noose, without making any mistakes. I know people and these people have done it. Join us, join me, get into this business and do it right. My best friend in the laundromat business is Danny D'Angelo, baby. Everyone constantly emails me and asks me, how can you possibly get a laundromat for free? This is the thing. These laundromats are very real and they can make you real money. If I were sitting here and having a fireside chat with you, I would explain to you that this is how you do it. The whole process deals with this, cash money. 